time we'll start and sit down. Oh, that's okay. okay. Don't, don't, <laughs> then I'll take don't a Don't trip trying to give us a piece of paper. I'm used to doing things backwards and then <laughs> All right. Uh, good morning. Uh, thank you so much for having us here. My name is Sean Amos. I'm here today to disabuse you of a couple of ideas. One is that Rockwell has never had any sort of health complaint against their Milton factory. The other is that we need some sort of special some sort of special study to let us know what's really going to happen after these people get here. If you, look, if you could just stick with me and stay on the first page, everybody, I'm going to walk you through, okay? If you look there at the very top, this is a letter from the Halton Region Health, and De Health Department. This is like a Jefferson County Health Department. Halton is their county, okay? This letter was written to their, what is their state? It's Ontario, and it's the equivalent of their West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection, okay? So you've got a local health, uh, local health department sending a letter. Turn the page with me. What you'll see that they say is that Roxol is a significant emitter of sulfur dioxide. They emitted approximately 365 tons in 2006. Okay, that's when this letter was written. Uh, turn the page with me, go ahead. Um, you'll see the next thing that's highlighted. It says that the, the levels that, that Roxol wants to put out by expanding this plant are below the, the levels that are allowed. Does that sound familiar? They're below the DEP levels that are allowed, okay? But go down to the bottom, the next highlighted bit. Those levels are still going to exceed the WHO guidelines, right? The World Health Organization in six locations in Milton, in the area. Not 35 miles away, right there where this, where this junk is, okay? This is at North Jefferson Elementary. Turn the page. When you look at World Health Organization guidelines, you're going to see that list of stuff that's going to happen to the kids, okay? Asthma, respiratory illness, cardiovascular disease, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Look at the conclusion, the next one that's highlighted. The Roxel facility has a significant impact on air quality. Where? In Milton. It is currently a significant contributor to the air emissions in the community. Turn the page, look at the next little bit that's highlighted. It is expected that air levels will exceed the guidelines, WHO guidelines, about 20% of the time, and it's a cause of concern for the regional health department. That man has told you that they've never had a health complaint. You look right there. So you've got a local official telling them that, that, that even though it's, it's going to have the, it meets their standards, that if they increase the sulfur dioxide, that it's going to hurt kids. Go to the next page. So let's fast forward 10 years, okay? That was in 2007. I want you to look what's going on. This is 2017. This is the official government of Canada saying what those people put out. And you'll see that it's rocks so all right there, yeah? Go over, you see where it says sign here, turn to that page. This is the sulfur dioxide report from Canada 10 years later. Look down there in 2006. Do you see it? 365 tons. Remember when they said that? The local health people said even though it meets those standards, if you put out more, it's going to hurt these kids. Look what happens. Look what happens. The next 10 years it increases by over 300%. They were warned and told it was going to hurt the kids. They did it anyway. And that's, you, the kind of neighbor, and that's the kind of neighbor that Eric Lewis is bringing in here. Thank he you, is sir. your lackey. Thank you put you. him on the thing, you can take him off. Vote no on the Thank water you, board. Come back. Yeah.